Howdy doody, guys. This is episode 16 of the... Oh, dang it. Episode 17 of the Nugget Show. And... We are going to be looking at the finished base. Check it out, guys. Well, actually, you can't see the whole thing. But you also may notice I'm using the shaders mod that adds shadows to your world. And it's amazing. It's fun. We, because <laughs> I I was asking in the last, right? I was asking in the last episode if anyone wanted to make any, if I should make any changes to the Nugget Show, and some people were saying mods, but I didn't want mods that would change my game completely. And this is one that does not do that. So, um, here we are. This, all right. I'll show you what I've done. I'll start from the outside. Sounds aren't working. I'll be right back. I'm going to try to get them to work. Okay, the sounds are now working. Right? Yeah, okay. Um, let's head back inside. So here's the door. Added some glowstone to the top. Um, getting some really nice tips from <clears throat> my uh, friend, Simple Treats. Uh, I'm gonna try to use some of his tips as in making the videos a bit shorter, not so lengthy, so it gets so boring. Because I, under I, I understand myself how they could get boring quickly. And um, also, just to let you guys know, please comment down below. I really love your guys' comments. It would make my day if you do it. <clears throat> and if you're a new sub a new viewer, hit the subscribe button. It would really help me out. Um. But, uh, let's move on. I have limited amount of time, and I want to get this done soon. So, this was a, I added this wall here, and this is a new portion here. It's going to be the wheat farm, and the melon farm, actually, I don't know yet. I don't know if I should put it outside. Uh, some guy was telling me, some commenter, seven something, sorry, I can't, I... Do not remember your name at the time at the moment. Um, he said to use uh, build the farm outside. I would like that, but I have a feeling I don't know if I'm gonna be out here or in this building or outside. It's gonna be difficult to choose. But um, here are the. This is a automatic wheat farm that Generic B first made up, and then a YouTuber known as Pear Squirrel made it better, and I saw it in Ethos Lab, and it's a pretty cool, pretty cool design. This is how it works. All you have to do is hold down right click, like that, and uh, I'll be back with you uh, with a couple of stacks of wheat. Okay, that seems about good. I definitely don't have a couple stacks, but I at least have a couple. Or at least have some wheat. Um, so, grab that. Oops. Seeds actually go in here. And then uh, there's a pressure plate over here. Which actually leads back to the wiring. And all I know about this is it's a bud switch. And it takes two updates to make the dirt get pulled down. And um, that's about it. Um, any updates to the storage room? I don't think we have done anything just yet. That's really cool. Um, nothing too special. Oh, the corners to the ice blocks melted. <laughs> the ice windows. So, that, that kind of sucked. Um, let's see. This is what this side looks like. I'm planning on having a wall of signs. And whenever I die... I put the place where I died, the, the time that I died, 
and how I died right here like on each sign and I got this idea from Exumavoid's world let's play that he does because he does the same thing and it's, that's a really cool idea so I wanted to try it out for myself so uh, I'll see you in the morning other updates you also may notice is the nether brick fences with the torches on top that's the wall lighting I have here it goes all the way around and I have the door here I'm getting ready for the bridge to be put across here to that side and there's another little thing here that I have to show you and we'll get to that next we'll walk down there too oh, I actually should have waited till night um, I don't have any shovels on me, but here's a little pathway that I'm working on. And it's going to curve around just a little bit and then go down. I don't know how I'm going to have it maybe split off the staircase. It's going to be a pretty difficult decision. Um, I also added a little roof on top of these sugarcane farms. Let's jump on down here. I didn't finish adding the floor the floor back here, but that's good because I can show you how it works anyway. Let's grab this. And oh shoot. Okay. So if you haven't guessed what this is and I'm gonna have you guess see if you can figure it out if you did figure it out good for you all these lights all around they're off during the day but then at night they turn on and the way <laughs> I just gave it away there but the way it works is through day and night sensors and this array pattern over here, which I will show you in a little bit. This right here, a little update. I have chests here now for bones and for arrows. I'm actually gonna have to pitch all these bows because it's taking up too much space. So. How about I show you the day-night sensors. Each one of these boxes is a day-night sensor, so there's three of them total. One, two, three. And it's basically a butt switch that is updated through water and grass. I don't know exactly how it works, but this is where it gets uh, the light put into, and that's how it tells if it's day or night. So it's a pretty cool little, um, pretty little uh, cool uh, contraption to build in your world. I have the lights set up <coughs> all throughout this main portion outside here. Um, I need to add more throughout here. I have three right here just to give more of an effect at night. But I think this is really cool how it looks because it looks like these are little factories or something. And they actually do work on what they're supposed to do. So, um,. I would show you how they work at night, which I will later in this episode, but right now I'll just go through other things. Um, now, questions on the farm for the melon farm? Like the loc- not the farm, the location of the melon farm? Me <laughs> melon farm? I'm probably gonna have it out here. Maybe. If I were to, uh, if I were to use it out here, it would be out here. But if not, then I have a location inside. Um, this is a redstone that travels out from the day-night sensors. The reason why I'm using three 
is because it updates more accurately and faster. So right when it gets dark, it sends out the pulse to turn these on. And it's pretty cool contraption. I really love it. I've always wanted to build these. I got the floor lights here. And a couple lights here. Um, I'm trying to figure out a way how to cover all the junk on the sand farm. Because it's pretty, pretty ugly looking. Along with this, I covered up the timing here. The redstone. Um, I need to figure out a way to make this. I don't know if I'm going to keep any grass here or make it just all like a certain floorboard. But I sort of want to keep it grass just to keep the outside feeling, if you know what I'm saying. Um, and it would be a lot of work if I chose to make this place like all inside. I want to put a wall around here though. And make something, like, change this wall here. Uh, oh, I never showed you this, but I have a... Have a... Sharpness 3 sword. I used level... 38 on it, I believe. I believe so. Um, that's... I think that's where it's at, but... So, um... Looks like the sun's going to be going down soon. I'll come back to you when the sun's just about to go down. We will watch the lights turn on. Okay, guys, so the sun's coming down just about sunset. It's um, on the brink of nighttime, and these lights are soon going to be shining. It's going to be pretty cool, but... Um, I just want to say thanks again for watching this episode. I don't know if I'm going to be keeping this mod. It's just just some uh, just some options to be uh, testing out if I should use these mods or not. If you like it, then I'll keep it. It's all up to you. But if you don't like it, then I'll, you know, remove it. Um, I just also want to thank a bunch of my friends for, you know, giving me all these tips on, you know, how to be a bit better at YouTube, so, um, I know this episode's a bit shorter, but I'm oh, testing out the methods, um, methods given to me by my friends, um, one of my friends that helped me the most was Simple Treats, check him out, definitely, he was a big help, and, yeah, so, just sit back and enjoy the view, and you can see the lights turn on. Um, <laughs> uh, well, I thought the lights were going to turn on. Um, maybe. Oh. Maybe it's not going to turn on. I hope it turns on. Hey. Hey, machine. Work. Come on. Uh oh. Does the shader mod affect it? No. It shouldn't. Does it? Uh oh. It should have worked by now. Um, I just have a feeling that the shader mod actually might affect the weight. Oh! There it goes. 
Never mind. So the moon has to be like right about there for it to work. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, it works. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Thanks again, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. If you're, you know, new to the channel, subscribe and please comment. I love your comments. Please, please, please. Any comments to make this a better series or anything for you guys to enjoy more, just comment down below. Yeah. So yeah, see you guys. Be prepared for the next episode.